<laughs> hey guys, Jeff Dickinson here. Today I'm playing Wild Gunman. Um, I haven't played this since I was a kid, and I just got this today. Let's go ahead and play a game and talk a little bit about it. So basically, I went to the movie trading company. I, what I do is I trade movies in and games in there, and I have a, uh, if I can't find anything I want, I put it towards store credit. And when I came in there today to give, you know, trade my movies and stuff, um, this walked through the door. Some kid had it. He was selling his Nintendo and a few Nintendo games. This is one of them. What's cool about this game here is that it came with, um, it's, it had a box that came with it. Now, it's not the original box. Uh, the original box was cardboard. This was a plastic box that uh, they had a laser printer that they made a label for. Well, you know, the outside of, of the uh, thing. Let me see here. That so way I can show you. There it is. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's... Hopefully you can see all this. But yeah, it's 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 a you know it's a bu basic box. Hopefully you can see all that. But yeah, um, it's pretty cool. They did a good job on it. There you go. So I'm totally dying over here. So I went and got it. Um, they were asking for forty bucks for it, and uh, I had my. Money saved when I traded in my stuff here. I'm gonna die here and go to a little harder game. Um, I remember playing this when I was a kid, and the first two is, you know, okay, um, but not super challenging. The third game is a little more challenging, um, if I remember correctly. Let's go ahead. And... Oh, excuse the boxes in the back. The, the TV's sitting on the floor. I still have yet to get a uh, TV stand for this um, and this thing this beast weighs a ton so I'm not moving it unless I have something to really move it on to alright so let's go to this one and this was like the first game but you got two dudes you're fighting with now for those who may remember Wild Gunman is a uh old school uh, arcade game um, it was actually mentioned just thinking about it in Back to the Future Part 2 um, when he goes into that diner in 2015 um, of course you know me I'm about playing arcade games and if there's a home port of it and this is before you know the Raspberry Pi and all that I mean we're talking 80's here and so Nintendo was close enough you could get to I'm going to die here and try the other game. That way you guys, guys got an idea if you've never seen this before. Um, but yeah, I mean, you'll go to the arcades and you'll play it and you enjoy it. And then when these were available, Nintendo was putting them out on the home ports. You know, they had Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. And, you know, these light gun games. Um, you know, I, I enjoyed Duck Hunt because it came with the impact game with Mario. Um, I did a video on that. I'll put a link below if you want to check that out again. Um, if you haven't been following the Collector Zone. Also, I'll put a video of Freedom Force. That was Now, that game's hard. Uh, but it's a really good, challenging light gun game. I played the heck out of that. Um, let's go over here. Show you the third game. Now, this one is cool because you got... All these dudes popping out, and you gotta be real quick at it. And then, of course, you know, uh, you got so many bullets, and then we run out bullets, that's it for that round. But if you make it to the next round, uh, the bullets come back. If I remember right, I think it does. Yeah, see, they just give me more bullets right there. And then, what happens is, the rounds, or the ways, what people call it, um, because, oh shoot, uh, you got the score on the bottom right hand side, and, and you got the gunman, and you got the waves. Yeah, I remember they call it waves. 
waves, rounds. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this game is fun. I mean, remember this kid enjoying the hell out of it. Uh, now, on eBay, I've been watching these. They're going for about $20, give or take. Sometimes lower, sometimes a little higher. But the average price I've been seeing is right around $20. So I've been watching this and trying to, you know, score one for my collection. It just so happens that today I was at the right place at the right time. And uh, that was pretty cool that they had the guy selling it, um, had made his own box and whatnot. I didn't get a chance to talk to him, but um, she, I'm going to just die out here. Um, trying not to die, but oh well. But anyway, uh, yeah, it was really cool that the, this crossed my pathway, so I was able to buy it for my collection. Um, so yeah, if you want to hunt this down, uh, go to uh, your local uh, store that sells used video games, and that's your best bet. eBay is another good option. I I've been getting a few off of eBay, um, and they've been I've been having good luck with them. Um, I haven't been paying much, uh, anywhere between two to five dollars on the average, sometimes ten. And in this case, this is the most expensive one I got because of. I guess because he included the case and whatnot. Well, guys, I appreciate you hanging out at the Collector Zone. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the iconic bell so that way you're in the know for the uh, next video. And of course, as I'm buying these old school games, I'm popping them into my NES, push and play, and under the uh, camera and showing you what it's like playing these games again and like I said I haven't played these since I was a kid so as an adult now um, <laughs> you know sometimes I start sucking at these uh, but yeah man it's been fun well I appreciate your time and hanging out with Collector Zone um, once again I'm trying to try not to suck too bad uh, but I appreciate you guys uh, hanging out. And as usual, we'll catch you in the next one. Layers, guys. I'm going to try not to die or suck so bad. <laughs> and this has been tons of fun. Try and get to where I don't die. <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, I'm going to go back playing this game. And appreciate your hang time. And we'll catch you on the next one. Layers, guys. <laughs> There, I'm dead. <laughs> Layers. Yeah. <laughs>